Right, morning guys. Well, afternoon to say. Uh, it's Sunday the 23rd of June today. Uh, just an update on what I got from milk detecting yesterday. Um, I'm going to show you the smaller stuff first and then I'm going to go into the large stuff because there's a carrier bag on my side which I need to empty out. Um, so the smaller stuff is down here. So we came across the, a little coin spill um, which was more towards the end of the, the day but during the daytime now I have actually dropped one of these in my bedroom somewhere but where it's gone I don't know but I actually found one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven musket balls and I think five of them are actual lead while the rest of iron. Um, I found a little bit of a bling costume jewelry, probably Achilles one, fake diamonds because uh, you ain't going to lose a diamond necklace or whatever it is, are you? So, a little bit of bling. Um, I did find a button, but I can't, but I can't remember what I've done with it. But I found um, one of those. Um, all tap things, you know, which you get on jacket. Uh, I found a one old one pound coin, uh, a fifty pence piece, and um, an old half pence. Can't tell what day or year that is or whatever, because it's too corroded. Uh, I found an old King George. It's actually 1936. I thought it was like 1906 or 1809 or something like that, but it's not. It's uh, 18, uh, 1936. Uh, it's definitely King George. Don't know if you see that okay. But you can see the man's head. Um, and then I came across like a couple of like pennies and then I hit actual little coin spill and uh, it kind of gave me a bit of a backache keep looking for you know every time I thought that was the last coin another coin popped up then another one then another one then another uh, there might still be some there I don't know I just got fell up digging them and I called it quits practically after that so that's the, um, the small stuff Now, the bag, now, I've actually got to sort all this out as well, um, that I'm not sure, I think that's tin actually, and that ain't lead, uh, this I believe is copper, the whole bag, Lucky I took two bags from me because like the other bag just like fell apart. Right, so um, this I think is tin. I think that's tin. I think that is. I don't think that's lead because lead normally bends but I do say you can actually scratch the lead and it becomes that shiny but I don't think that is lead so that a bit of tin there I think that's iron Iron tin. This was interesting. Um, tea break something castrol. It's a castrol lid. lid. Pat penned. So the pattern is pending on uh, TQ breaks. S 
something. I don't know if you can actually make that out. But that is an interesting little find. Um, this is a part of a lock. And I think that's iron. This I think is iron as well, maybe not. No, no, actually I think that is lead. Or it could just be melted. I think it is lead actually, that one. So I'm going to put that to one side. A uh, bit of shrapnel. That's definitely shrapnel because I've found this before. This I think is like an old scouring pad, but I think scouring pad is aluminium, I think. This, I think, is iron. A, a wing nut bolt. This, I think, is aluminium. Found a, a piece of um, wind up from a watch. I didn't actually really find much, uh, to be honest here. This is uh, aluminium, I think, or copper. No, actually, I think it's copper. Yeah, that's copper or brass. Uh, this, I think, is from a car wheel, which I've actually been trying to get hold of as well from the local wash names. But I think this is aluminium or sink. I don't think it's. Um, lead but it feels heavy could be lead I don't know um, I think this is lead melted down lead um, I don't know what the hell that is but it ain't heavy enough to be lead I think it's just uh, aluminium um, I think this is Possibly steel. Another bit of a uh, possible lead. Uh, I think that's definitely lead. This one. I think that's lead. I think that's a, a fired um, musket ball actually. And uh, another little bit of lead. And that's it. That's all my finds from yesterday. Now, what am I going to do with that? Um, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna start keeping some of the metal, uh, so I can probably try to melt it down when I get my gas stove. Um, oh, I don't know what that's doing in there. But yeah, I'm gonna uh, start collecting um, metal. I need to try and get some buckets actually, um, and then I melt it down as when I can. But I don't have anything to put this in at the moment apart from that bag. So I'll put this in here. Um, that lead, which I think is lead, will go in my lead box. So I'm pretty sure that is lead. I'm going to go up there for now. All this will go back in this bag. And then we'll put it out in the garden later. So I think this is um, a car wheel uh, weight. I think that might be lead, but I don't know. So I'll put that. I will put that in my lead box. And if it melts down, then it melts down. If it don't, then we can always take it out. But all this stuff will. That's lead as well. So I'm not going to melt this down until I get my actual um, gas stove.
gas cooker. I've also ordered um, one of those uh, blow torches as well uh, because I think that could come in handy for actually melt, uh, not melting, but heating up the um, the mould which I've ordered. Fishing weight mould. So yeah, that's it guys uh, for now. Uh, I'm going to do another video on in a minute, uh, showing you some bits and pieces I've got which I hope may help me to make my own moulds a bit later on so this one is now ending and I'll get back to you on another video in a few minutes cheers <laughs>